Good evening, I'm Dr. Eliverson, orthopedic surgeon. So today our uh, topic of discussion is uh, knee arthritis. Okay. So uh, we are not going to uh, see too, too much of basics. We will just see the what is the definition of arthritis. Then we will see what are all the recent advances in treatment options. The two uh, conservative management, what, what are all the recent uh, recent advances are uh, we are doing in our city. Okay. So Hi, hi. So we will uh, see what is the basic of uh, knee arthritis. What do you what do you understand by knee arthritis? Anybody? Knee arthritis? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody want to say. Nobody want to share anything. So basically, knee arthritis, uh, as we all know, uh, is uh, uh, the warning out of the cartilage. So what happens? There is a cartilage uh, cover in the end of the uh, bones in the in the, in the in a joint surface. So what happens? Uh, always the bone is always hard. Uh, but when you go open up a joint surface, the joint surface is always smooth. Why? Because the when only when the joint surface is smooth, you can get smooth mobility of all the joints. So if you open up all the joints, the joint surface per se will be a smooth surface. So it is like sticking a mica over a wood. So wood is always hard, but if you stick a mica, it becomes smooth. Okay, so when a joint is healthy, the joint is very smooth and it is covered completely with the cartilage and there will be a normal uh, high, uh, synovial fluid which, which will be uh, aiding in lubrication. Okay, so this is how a, a good healthy joint works. But what happens when uh, wear and tear happens? The cartilage cover of the end of the joints gets worn out. So what happens when, uh, imagine when the when this mica, which is stuck over the wood, is uh, we try to scratch it out. It becomes rough. The same thing happens there. So when the cartilage cover slowly gets worn out, pain starts. When the pain starts, that means the lubrication is already gone. So the scratches increases, the friction increases, the swelling also increases. So this is the basic of arthritis. Okay. So Tamil on the Elumbutemano, Yelumbutenji Bochi, I've been long. It's not Yelumbutenji Bochi. Yelumbutenji Bochi is Kadasi stage. First one the cartilage and theyo. Cartilage, anybody know what is the Tamil of cartilage? Maji. Yelumu Maji. Yelumu is bone marrow. Tasai. Tasai na and Jabu na ligament. Ah, end option. It's called Kurthilum. Okay, so as every now the yellow okay. So it, it's uh, it exactly so the cartilage and the yellow man are coating every what you go. So other than the usually take away Muria. So lubrication for other they are okay. So once they are in China pain, where are you know? So pain, where are you? Chicha, what name of a treatment at the corner obviously becomes all right, but they are in the Maria. So you have a lot of holes, other though, and the log on the treatment is difficult stages increase idea right? so initial stage we treat them with medications so later stage we do some surgical procedure so so basically the definition of uh, arthritis okay next sir arthritis what is rheumatoid arthritis yena difference why rheumatoid arthritis is different from normal arthritis so arthritis na osteoarthritis is wrong on a rheumatoid arthritis is something different. How it comes in younger age age groups. That's because our people are getting the synovial fluid in their body. Ah, so there is a synovial fluid there when the inflammatory arthritis. That is inflammatory arthritis. I am telling you. So, what problem? Now, blood blood test is done. That is rheumatoid factor. I am telling you. R A factor. I am telling you. Check on it. அது வந்து அந்த ஆரி ஃபேக்டர் அதிகமாக இருக்குது அப்படின்னு என்ன அர்த்தம்னா அந்த எலும்பில் இருக்கிற அந்த ஜாயிண்ட்ஸில் இருக்கிற அந்த ஃப்ளூடே வந்து கெட்ஸ் இன்ஃப்ளேம் ஸோ அந்த ஃப்ளூட் இன்ஃப்ளமேஷன் ஆச்சுன்னா ஸோ ஃப்ளூட் இன்ஃப்ளமேஷன் ஆச்சுன்னா அந்த ஃப்ளூடே அந்த இன்ஃப்ளேம் ஃப்ளூடே போய் அந்த காட்லேஜை வந்து ஓன் அவுட் பண்ணிடும் ஸோ அதனால் வந்து யங்கர் பேஷண்ட்ஸ் சின்ன வயசுலேயே வந்துட்டு ஆர்த்ரைட்டிஸ் வர ஆரம்பிச்சிடும் ஸோ அதான் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் நார்மல் ஆர்த்ரைட்டிஸ் இது நார்மல் ஆர்த்ரைட்டிஸ் வந்து வேர் அண்ட் டயர்னால வருது நிறைய யூஸ் பண்ணுறதுனால அதனால இது வந்துட்டு பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் 
and the synovial fluid is inflammatory and all that. So this is one of another cause for arthritis. So where is arthritis? One more is, if you have a cell, uric acid will be more. So uric acid is an aminum. So what is it? It's basically a salt. So uric acid, if it increases, it we call it as gout. That goes and sits in all the joints, mainly your elbow joints, knee joints, your great toe and make, makes it inflamed and brings out arthritis. So that is one another type of arthritis. So if you say traumatic arthritis, how do you say? Traumatic arthritis means, if you say that like sports injuries, ACL injury, illati meniscal injury, that means in the, 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 the meniscus, illati ACL on the injury arch. That is why we are repairing because and the joint kulaga jaw and the knee joint is stability. So the hip joint, shoulder joint, that is the ball and socket joint. So ball and socket joint is the inherent stability. Ulla on the jaw with avail. Okay. But the knee joint is the hinge joint. So inherent stability is the jaw with the stability. So jaw change is the instability. So, instability is the cartilage danger. So, if there is any injury in younger uh, uh, individuals, I repair pannana, it leads to arthritis in the later stage. So, so, that is called traumatic arthritis. Okay, so it is the types. So, so arthritis on the patient. Patient on the pain, they come out of swelling. Then, they come out of swelling. Then on the salary pathina con advanced arthritis on the call bend arms, knee bending. So Nikyo Chipatona normal Badina or the Nikyo Chipatina, normal mutti and the leg on the it goes outside. We call it as seven degree valgus. It means other normal angulation. But knee arthritis or the call on the in the bow arms. It becomes like this. It's called bow legs. Okay. So Yana or side on the bush. That is the meniscus there, 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 knee bending arm. So, those are all symptoms of arthritis. Okay. Then, uh, patients, are younger patients, so that means whenever they get getting up from a sitting position and after a long time, they have to have some So, that means whenever they are getting up from a sitting position after a long time, they get pain. That means what happens when they are sitting for a long period of time, petal and the femoral bone is on the when they get up, the petal goes and scratches on the femoral surface. So that's called as petalofemoral arthritis. So that is that is the usually that is the first symptom of arthritis. So these are all symptoms of arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is patients every time differentiate They have early early morning stiffness. So morning age only kai and tight are doctor. That means they have morning stiffness. So morning stiffness with small joint involvement with swelling abdina. It may be rule out rheumatoid or arthritis. Okay. So it is. These are all symptoms. So what we do, x-ray. So x-ray X-ray we see the gap of the knee joint. So we usually in orthopedicians on the knee G X-ray. We ask them for standing view of AP. Why? Because we want to see the dynamic of the x-ray. So, if you have a gap in the x-ray, So, if you have a gap in the x-ray, you can see the gap in the x-ray. But, the patient is not going to be able to see it. So, if you have a gap in the x-ray, you can see the x-ray. So, if you have a gap in the x-ray, you can see the normal space in the x-ray. So, that means the meniscus in between the space has worn out. So, already the meniscus is gone, so there is no cushioning surface between the two hard surfaces. So this is arthritis. Okay. Then, why do you take MRI? Patina is a MRI. It's not because of unnecessary. If the patient is an old patient, like 60 years, because we know that already there will be some ligament injuries or cartilage damage, so we have already planned the treatment, so no need for further investigations. But if the patient is young, like 40 years, 
அவனுக்கு வந்து நம்ம ஆர்த்தடிஸ்னு பேன் பண்ண முடியாது வி ஹாவ் டு ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் ஒய் ஈ காட் ஆர்த்தடிஸ் இன் அ வெரி யங்கர் யங்கர் ஏஜ் ஸோ இஃப் யங்கர் பேஷண்ட்ஸ் கம்ஸ் டு அஸ் வித் அன் ஆர்த்ரைட்டஸ் வி ஆல்வேஸ் டேக் அன் எம்ஆர்ஐ டு ரூல் அவுட் வெதர் தேர் இஸ் எனி லிகமெண்ட் டேர் இன்ஜுரி ஆர் மெனிஸ்கல் ரிப் மெனிஸ்கல் இன்ஜுரி பிகாஸ் இஃப் ஹி இஸ் ஹேவிங் தட் இன்ஜுரி வி கேன் ரிப்பேர் இட் அண்ட் ஃபர்தர் ஆர்த்ரைட்டிஸ் வராமல் ப்ரொட்டெக்ட் பண்ணலாம் because once arthritis set in that means we have to do surgery for arthritis that is permanent so 40 years patient i cannot do knee replacement it's not possible okay so we have to pull him at least till 60 years so what we try to do is when a patient is young we try to find out the reason for the arthritis repair that reason correct it and then prevent him from becoming arthritic in a younger age so when he becomes 60 yes we can do some surgery so that is why we do mri not unnecessarily only necessary then uh, do, do we do any blood test yes we try to do lot of blood tests to rule out any other like as i said whether he is having rheumatoid arthritis we do ra factor we do anti ccp which is a confirmatory test for inflammatory arthritis we rule out any if they having gout like doing uric acid then we check his uh, hlab to do that is ankylosing spondylitis then we check his calcium levels b12 levels everything because if the patient is having any deficiency and he is having pain because of that we try to correct that okay so mechanical problem illama chemical avum eda problem irundhana adiyo naanga correct pannanum okay then come to the treatment okay that is the today today's topic is mainly treatment so how do you treat yes we do give pain medications we give pain medications to reduce the pain but only for a shorter period of time we cannot give for a longer period of time that to mostly patients in this hospital have any uh, kidney issues nephro problem we cannot give more a lot of pain medications we end up uh, we can give maximum some paracetamol or tramadol that's all which is the kidney safe okay so if we are unable to give a lot of pain medications at least we give some anti inflammatories to reduce the swelling okay so then uh, we can give some muscle relaxant so that if the muscle is very tight the knee will be painful so we give some muscle relaxants then for arthritis we uh, prescribe them prescribe them collagen that means type 2 collagen which can improve the lubrication in the joint okay that is also one of the treatment <laughs> then we uh, whatever test we do like calcium vitamins whatever deficiency they have we correct it then uh, go what about the physiotherapy physiotherapy is the key so we have to improve their quadriceps muscles so that once the quadriceps muscles are strong enough when the patient gets up from a sitting position he needs a good quadriceps if he doesn't have a good quadriceps kile and chair rendu elundirukke mudiyadu elundirukumbodhu valikum so apdi enna artham yes arthritis irukku nu artham ana muscle nalla irundha da patient vandu chair rendu lift panna mudiyum so muscle strengthening exercise is a key then we also do yes we do some ift or wax therapies ultrasound adu ellame inflammation koyka da first pain relief kodukkaradhukku yes we do all this therapies then we will ask them to do good strengthening exercises okay knee cap this is the topic of controversy knee cap podukalama patient solva sir mutti velichathu knee cap potta so knee cap is not for knee pain knee cap vandu epo kodupom appadina when the muscle uh, quadriceps muscle is weak and the patient is unable to walk it is just an external support till the quadriceps is strengthened if you uh, give the patient knee cap for a long period of time patient won't do any muscle strengthening at all the quadriceps muscle will become completely atrophied so for the physiotherapy is also we keep on telling please take try to pay, take the patient out of the knee cap so initially yes initial pain relief on one we can give a knee cap for certain period of time muscle strengthening agara varaikku and we can give knee cap then we can pull, pull it out then there are certain uh, uh, varus valgus knee braces available so as i said when we do, when we are doing a x ray standing x ray we find out whether the patient is having varus varus na inside bending valgus na outside bending ஸோ அதை கண்டுபிடிச்சி அதை வந்து ட்ரீட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு வந்துட்டு வி கிவ் சம் நீ பிரேஸ் அது வந்து என்ன பண்ணுவோம்னா அதை வந்து வென் மென் ஆஃப் த பேஷண்ட் வாக்ஸ் த வேரஸ் வேல்கஸ் கரெக்ட்ஸ் 
automatically so that pain reduces okay then footwear correction if you see a good physiotherapist or a good doctor who where the patient goes initially they ask you to change your chappal you know in the chappal change when i enna aida podu arthritis apdi nenna pa so the thing is if there it is just a very simple mechanical correction if the patient is having varus varus apdina enna artham ullukulla bend aadukal so patient endha enak surgery vena onnu vena enak vandha i want some physiotherapy ena correct panna nu solvan so we want to uh, prevent further bending of the leg so kaal vandu ullu epdi porudhu so enna pannano we have to protect it yes we can use this varus valgus brace now another thing is enna pannuvom appadina we give them something called as foot pair with lateral wedges ஃபுட்வேரில் வந்து என்ன பண்ணுவோம்னா வெளியில் இருக்கிற இதை மட்டும் ஒரு வெஜ் வச்சுக்கோம் அப்படி தூக்கிடுவோம் ஸோ வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கலி இந்த வெஜ் இப்படி வச்சோம் இப்படி தூக்கிட்டோம் அப்படின்னா இந்த கால் வந்து இப்படி பெண்ட் ஆகாமல் இட் ட்ரைஸ் டு கோ அவுட் ஸோ என்ன ஆகும் உள் பக்கம் வந்து ஓப்பன் அவுட் ஆகும் ஸோ வென் வந்து பேஷண்ட் வாக்ஸ் கால் வைக்கும் போது மெக்கானிக்கலாக அது கரெக்ட் ஆகும் ஸோ பெயின் ரெடியூஸ் ஆகும் ஸோ தட் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் அண்ட் அகெயின் எக்ஸ்ரேல வந்து வந்து வேல்கஸ் இப்படி கால் பெண்ட் ஆயிருந்து அப்படின்னா என்ன பண்ணுவோம் உள்ளுக்குள்ள வந்து வி கீப் அ லிட்டில் லேட்ரல் வெஜ் ஸோ என்ன பண்ணுவோம் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்காக வந்து இப்படி கரெக்ட் ஆகும் ஸோ பேஷண்ட் நடக்கும் போது டைனமிக்கா த ஆங்கிள் கரெக்ட்ஸ் பெயின் ரெடியூசஸ் ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் ஆல் கன்சர்வேட்டிவ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் நீ நீ பே தென் லோக்கல் அப்ளிகேஷன் தெர் ஆர் தௌசண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் தௌசண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் லோக்கல் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் அவைலபிள் நோ ஃபார் ஆர்த்ரைட்டஸ் எவ்ரி திங் யூ ஸ்டார்டிங் ஃப்ரம் பெயின் கிளர்ஸ் டைக்ளோஃபினாக் to curcumin to boswellia and now they are uh, using in a sort of all ayurvedic preparations in our uh, yes they do have some role but it is not the only role we have to combine it with other therapies also so these are all conservative non interventional therapies available for arthritis what are all the interventional therapies okay we'll go for that so this is a, a very that's uh, another hot topic now prp everybody is using prp you are a prp you know what is prp so prp is uh, platelet rich plasma okay so why do we use prp in the knee joint because so we want to regenerate the uh, cartilage so in in a little uh, younger patient that means younger means in the in the arthritic word it is like around 60 to 65 so when the when we see the cartilage is burning out and the patient is having little bit of gap and there is not much of mechanical deformity we can use the prp so prp is used to regenerate the cartilage so how do we do prp we take around 20 to 25 ml of the patient's blood we put it in a centrifuge machine we take only the platelets rich plasma around 3 to 4 ml we just inject it into the joint surface so if we put it that cartilage starts regenerating in 6 weeks so from 6 weeks onwards the slowly the pain relief comes and over on that we'll ask the patient to do some exercises also so slowly the patient improves okay this is one number 2 we use hyaluronidase injection so hyaluronidase injection is it's like a gel injection we call okay so this is mainly for lubrication this is not for regeneration this gives lubrication this we use in patients where the cartilage is worn out a little more little bit space is available but patient is unable to bend so oru vaati kaala madakum bodu bayangara tight a irukku sutha madakum illa solvanga x-ray eduth paatha konja konja gap irukum cartilage nare worn out a irukum so we are not working on regenerating their cartilage which is not possible in that stage so at least we give them some lubrication inside the joint so that their mobility is better so that they can do good exercises so once we give this hyaluronic injection that gel hyaluronic gel stays there inside the joint for at least a year or two in that period patients should do good rehabilitation to improve their muscle uh, strength so that they will be able to walk a little better than before okay this is another treatment then this is another uh, newer uh, therapy we are using now it's called svf that means we take cells from the fat so have you seen uh, plastic surgeons doing uh, debulking of the fat anybody yeah so they use a big or straw mari or needle vechuvanga steel straw mari adha vechi ipdi ipdi kutuvanga 
எக்ஸாக்ட்லி லைக் லைஃப் செக்ஷன் அந்த மாதிரி தான் ஸோ என்ன பண்ணுவோம்னா அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு தேர்ட்டி எம்எல் ஆஃப் ஃபேட் நாங்கள் வந்து எடுத்துருவோம் இந்த இடத்துல வயிற்றுல இருந்தோ குளூட்டியில் இருந்தோ எடுத்து அதை வந்து அந்த 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 மஷினில் போட்டு வி டேக் சம் ஸ்ட்ரோமல் செல்ஸ்ன்னு சொல்கிறோம் அதை எடுத்து அதை ப்ராசஸ் பண்ணி அதை ஸ்டெரைலாக வரும் அதை எடுத்து டைரெக்டாக வந்து வீக்கி இன்ஜெக்டட் இன்டு நீ ஜாயிண்ட் ஸோ அதில் வந்து இந்த ஸ்டெம் செல்ஸ்லாம் இருக்கும் ஸோ அந்த ஸ்டெம் செல்ஸ் வந்து என்ன பண்ணுவோம்னா இட் ரீஜென்ரேட்ஸ் த கட்லெஜ் ஸோ இது வந்துட்டு ஸ்டேஜ் டூ ஸ்டேஜ் த்ரீ பேஷன்ஸ்லாம் போட்டோன்னா அது வந்து ரீஜென்ரேட் காட்லெஜ் ரீஜென்ரேட் ஆகி பெயின் ரிலீஃப் கொடுக்கும் ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த நியூவர் அட்வான்சஸ் இன் இன்டர்வென்ஷன் தெரப்பி ஃபார் ஆர்த்ரைட்டஸ் ஓகே இட்ஸ் இஸ் இட் இஸ் டன் ஆஸ் அ ஓபி ப்ரொசீஜர் நோ நீட் ஃபார் எனி அட்மிஷன் வி ஜஸ்ட் டேக் த பேஷன் வித்திட்டு ரிமூவ் சம் ஃபேட் கல்ச்சர் தட் வேஸ்ட் எஸ்விஎஃப் அண்ட் ப்ரோட் இன் சைட் ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் திஸ் இஸ் இப்போ பேஷன் ஹேஸ் கவுன் டு நெக்ஸ்ட் லெவல் ஆஃப் ப்ராப்ளம் வி எஸ்விஎஃப் பத்தல பிஆர்பியும் பத்தாது அப்படின்னா டைரெக்டாக வந்து போன் வேறோ போடணும் அதாவது நிறைய அதாவது அந்த காட்லேஜ் ஓன் அவுட் வந்துட்டு கிரேட் வந்து அதிகமாகிடுது த்ரீக்கு மேலே போயிடுது டிஃபார்மிட்டி இல்லை ஆனால் வந்து காட்லேஜ் மட்டும் நிறைய ஓன் அவுட் ஆகிருக்குன்னா ஃபாஸ்ட்டாக வந்து வி ஹவ் டு ரீஜென்ரேட் அ காட்லேஜ் எஸ் வி டூ ஓ போன் வேரோ இன்ஜெக்ஷன் வாட் வி டூ வி டேக் த போன் வேரோ ஃப்ரம் த இலியாக் சர்ஃபஸ் ரிமூவ் அரௌண்ட் தேர்ட்டி எம்எல் ஆஃப் த போன் வேரோ புட் அ போன் வேரோ நீடில் ஹவ் யூ சீன் போன் வேரோ ஆஸ்பிரேஷன் ஆ சிமிலர் சேம் திங் லைக் போன் வேரோ ஆஸ்பிரே ஏதர் வி டேக் இட் ஃப்ரம் ஏஎஸ்ஐஎஸ் ஆர் பிஎஸ்ஐஎஸ் we remove around 30 ml of that uh, bone marrow give it to the uh, uh, in the, the machine the, the centrifuge machine they g- get us at least 4 to 5 ml of stem cells bone marrow stem cells and we inject it into the joint so this goes and coats that that particular surface and regenerates the cartilage okay so this is another therapy con- uh, intervention <laughs> therapy we use for arthritis so these are all basically given this stem cell therapy is given to regenerate the cartilage only it is nothing to do with the mechanical problem mechanically vand knee bending aayiduchu cartilage vand suthamave illa covering illa appadina we cannot regenerate this all the stem cell therapy which we which you saw now all these injections are applicable only for patients who has arthritis without any much of deformity if there is a mechanical deformity whatever therapy we give it is only temporary because mechanical deformity vara aarambichina mechanical la treat pannala appadina idu vandu andha lavukku vandu it won't give you results so all these therapies are advisable till grade 3 without much of a deformity okay so what if deformity happens okay ah so what happens if this is the another keyhole surgery we do wherein we want to see whether the patient can be treated with stem cells therapy or not so what we do is if the patient is having a lot of osteophytes that means extra bone formation because of arthritis we go and put a keyhole like an arthroscopy we check where all the cartilage has worn out smoothen it and then give a prp or stem cells okay this one now as i told you what if deformity has happened so if a young patient is coming with a deformity that is like uh, 35 40 years okay and he is having arthritis mostly these kind of patients will be having arthritis on the one segment that means this medial segment only okay so if the x ray and the mri proves the patient is having problem only in one segment mostly in the medial aspect of the knee joint we do something called as partial knee replacement which is called uni knee replacement abhi enna arthona why we are not doing total knee replacement because totally means we have to cut the both the surfaces but if a young patient is coming and we are doing total knee he might need revision in 20 years so these kind of patients we do only a partial knee replacement that means we change only what is whatever is worn out edha edha change iruko and the surface mattum maathite velle vandrom nalla irukra surface maatha matom leave it alone so this is how it will look so this this side looks fine the lateral aspect the medial aspect was only arthritic so we change only the medial aspect and this surface becomes smooth patient can live with it for at least 10 to 15 years yes but when he comes back with arthritis of this one we will convert it into total knee then what is the next one total knee replacement patient you mutti maathireengala mutti cut panna poringa 
I said, okay. So, it, do we cut the knee completely? Or do we do we take it take it off completely? No. See, uh, if a total hip replacement, yes, we remove the whole ball on that other aspect and change the complete ball. That is total hip replacement, yes. Total knee replacement, we don't do that like at all. We just change the surface. Why it is called total knee? Because this is the community, that's the uni knee. This is the uni partial knee, but one joint surface. But the knee has three joint surfaces. Medial, lateral, petal of femoral. Three joint. There are three joint. In by inner aspect, outer aspect, then one joint has a knee cap. There are three joint. In the moon joint, you matro in total knee. That's why we call it as total knee replacement. That's all. That is why it's called. It is not like we are cutting out every, cutting all the surfaces. Okay. So, so if if we if we do that, so if we engage all that, and the mooty change theme on or go on surface or matto, we just shave it off. Make make it to the make the cut according to this the implant, and then we stick the implant with the cement. It's a, a bone cement, okay? So it automatically goes and sticks to that surface. So as you see, the complete, the bone is fine. Only the surface we shave it and then stick this uh, process to the bone. So female only everybody, tibia only everybody, and in between we put a polyethylene, which acts like a meniscus. That's all. This is what totally replacement means. So it, it uh, as a misnomer, what everyone thinks is totally replacement. They they completely cut the deal. After that, nobody can walk. You know, and the or a misconception or go, how did it happen? Very surface, what is that? Automatically, once the patient uh, undergoes this uh, knee replacement, deformity we can correct. We can correct the joint surface. We can co correct the overall alignment of the uh, the leg it, itself, so that. We will be able to walk normally. Okay. So that is what knee replacement means. Okay. So all these treatments are aiming to correct the pain and deformity only. What is the key after all these treatments? Is physiotherapy. At last, only if the patient does physio properly, they will get good results. They come to us in a wheelchair. Mutitanj Boche, Rindashma Adagala, wheelchair level on the day, Muti Matiko, Matu no, and so on. No, we cannot do. If we do a knee replacement for a patient in a wheelchair, that patient will not walk. Only the patients who are walking properly, who have knee pain with deformity, with good muscle power, if we do a knee replacement, they, it will be successful. We will get good results. If the patient has not been walking for a year or two, the quadrilateral will be completely atrophied. Changing the knee surface, knee surface only without a proper muscle functioning will not improve anything at all. So, if this patient is very persistent on doing a surgery, we have to put them on a proper preoperative physiotherapy. Ask them to go and strengthen their muscles. Only if they are able to walk a little bit after surgery, they will walk. If they are not walking at all pre-operatively, they will not walk after surgery. That is the victim. These are the patients who go and say knee replacement is a failure. So, proper selection of a patient is very, very important because we won't do good for the patient or for you. So, patient is not going to do anything. Patient is not going to do anything. Patient is not going to do anything. I am going to do a doctor. I am going to do a doctor. I am going to do a doctor. I am going to do that. But I am going to do that. I am going to do that. I am going to do that. So now it is too late for them. So that is why you are doing muscles. You are doing muscles. You are doing at least walk around. You are doing knee replacement. 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 So it is not going to happen. So physiotherapy is a key. Not only post-operative, pre-operative itself. If the patient is having muscles, muscle weakness, please, we always ask the physiotherapist to strengthen the muscles and then go for a surgery. Okay. So physio is very important in knee arthritis treatment. Whether it is recent or old, this will stand. Okay. 
So figure that means important. I think that's the last slide, I think. Thank you. Thank you.